Hello, London. Uh, we're here in uh, beautiful Santa Cruz in California. We're not very far from all those wildfires, but we're by the ocean, so we're safe. It's a beautiful uh, uh, fall evening here. Uh, you know, lots of whales breaching. It's, you know, it's, a, it's really a Santa Cruz is a wonderful place. We're at the south end of Silicon Valley. So hello, London. I hope you're having a great conference. Um, I'm a, I'm a scientist, I'm a mathematician. I was involved in creating the, the first camera phone, et cetera. But more importantly, what, what my pet project is right now is fighting opinions with data. Um, until now, until we had big data, a lot of the decisions we were making were a matter of opinion. And you know, I have, uh, with my, the teams I work with, I always tell people, Show me the data, let's let that make the decision. If it's a matter of opinion, we'll go with mine. But that's the old way. And so now, rather than deal with opinions, our approach is to look at lots of data. I'll give you an example. Sleep. Until now, sleep, people have said, well, you have to sleep in you know, eight hours a night, and you shouldn't wake up at night, and if you wake up at night, something's wrong with you, and et cetera. Until we had millions of recorded nights of sleep from people just like us. And we realized that, yeah, maybe people pay, spend eight hours a night in their bedroom, but they really sleep for six and a half hours. Most people wake up at night and they're perfectly healthy for it. And then we start looking at, okay, so what's a good night of sleep? So rather than have the opinion of someone who, 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 who's basically made that opinion up, we just look at the data. We look at millions of nights of sleep by millions of people, and we say, you know what? You should have a ratio of about this much REM sleep, this much deep sleep, this much light sleep, etc. And then we can come up with a program to score your sleep and help Mrs. and Mr. Everyone um, sleep better. Because we're all sleep deprived. In fact, if I was in London and asked everybody in this audience today, who slept too much last night? Most people will say, oh, no, geez, I, I didn't sleep too well or whatever it is. But that's a, that's a, that, 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 we're, we're a sleep deprived society. So how does that all apply to horses? Because we're here to talk about horses. Well, what's true for humans is even more true for horses. And let me, let me qualify what I'm saying. If I took an Olympic athlete and I had the choice of making him eat exactly what I want, when I want, get him to train exactly what I want, sleep when I want, in the conditions that I want, all that, I'd win lots of gold medals. The humans won't do that. The good news is horses do that. And I think that most people here are involved with horses doing that. And so uh, it's politically correct to actually get a horse to do that, to get more performance out of the horse. So now we can accumulate data, big data from horses, and try to understand how they perform better by looking at horses just like our horse and see how they rank. For example, if they're in the 75% percentile, you know, what do these 25% horses, I mean, the ones that are, are higher percentile, do different? Do they sleep more? Do they eat more uh, green grass? Do they uh, train more? Do they train less, et cetera? And we can actually use the data and machine learn tools because humans can't go through the data for millions of horses, but machines can. And now we can look at that and use those techniques that we call machine learning, deep learning, to actually make sense of all that information and turn that into actionable insights that will help you breed better horses. And that's really the power of data versus the power of opinion. And, you know, I was uh, talking uh, with someone as I was uh, preparing this, and they were saying, geez, I, I wish we could apply this to politics, in particular American politics. I wish we could do that too, get rid of opinions and get the data to talk. But that's a different discussion. So I wish you all a great conference, and let's breed some better horses.